We had a pretty chaotic week this week. I woke up on Thursday and went to make the kids breakfast and pulled out some frozen sausage and it was half thawed. And I checked the rest of the freezer and everything else was half thawed also. And the fridge was warm and basically with no warning, our fridge and freezer completely died. We got a repairman out and there was, it was just gonna be as expensive to get a new fridge as it was to repair it. So we ran, picked out a new fridge with zero research. Uh, and thankfully we're not dealing with back stock issues on appliances right now. And we were able to get a fridge and freezer the next day. In the meantime, I had ran to the grocery store, grabbed a bunch of ice, tried to put everything that I could in coolers with ice to save a lot of the meat. We ended up giving a bunch of it away. And then unfortunately I had to toss some stuff that was too thawed or mushy. Uh, thankfully that was mostly like vegetables and stuff for the kids and all the meat was able to be used or given away. But now that I have my new fridge and freezer uh, and it's basically empty, that means I get to go do a massive Costco haul and stock it up again. So all of that chaotic, stressful, expensiveness is behind us. And now I get to do my favorite thing, which is a huge Costco haul. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Before I head to the store, I wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by Element. Element is an electrolyte drink mix that comes in these convenient little packets. That's the perfect ratio for me of sodium, potassium, and magnesium. Since I eat a low carb carnivore diet, I need extra electrolytes to keep me hydrated. And this packet is perfect. I pour one of these in my water every morning and drink it first thing just to get me refreshed for the day. And then if I'm fasting, like this week I did a 48 hour fast and I added, I think two extras throughout that 48 hours just to ensure that I wasn't getting any headaches from fasting uh, or any foot cramps. Everybody in our family is a big fan and I am thankful that they are sweetened with stevia. And so I know that I'm not adding a bunch of sugar or junk to my family. Element has a deal for all my subscribers where you can get this free sample pack with any purchase and it lets you try all eight of their flavors. You can go to the link down in the description or to drinkelement.com slash laurasbath to get your free sample pack with purchase. So thank you to Element for sponsoring this video. The previous fridge that we had that broke was an LG and it was actually here when we moved into the house. But the appliance repair guy that came out to look at it said, don't buy an LG fridge and don't go with Samsung. We ended up getting a Bosch fridge. Lowe's was having a really good sale. I'm hoping since it's close to when they close on a Friday night, it won't be busy and I don't get kicked out for filming like I did at Walmart. <laughs> first place that I always hit up is the clothing section. I have no shame in admitting that a decent portion of my wardrobe comes from Costco. I'm telling you, a lot of these clothes really just hit the spot. So I always make sure to dive around and see what I can find. Not much today, but I actually do own this exact jacket in a light pink. Love it. I take a quick stop into the produce section just to grab some fruit for the kids. Today I picked up some strawberries but then quickly headed over to my favorite section, which is the meat department. Costco is one of the nation's largest meat buyers and the quality for the price really can't be beat. They're not the cheapest around. Your regular grocery store when things are on sale might be cheaper, but the quality you get here for the price is really unmatched. Today, I grabbed some steaks for Chris. He's been dying for a New York strip and nothing has been on sale at the regular grocery store for a couple of weeks. First thing I'm gonna grab is some ground beef. I will then break this down and freeze it into like one and a half pound packages. And that's about the perfect amount for us for two meals for the kids or one dinner for me and the kids. Tri-Tip is another one of our absolute favorites and Costco has some incredible quality for a great price. I know these are harder to find on the East Coast, so apologies if you can't find them. Another Costco favorite is flap meat. I cook this hot and fast on the grill or on my outdoor griddle, just like fajita meat. Perfect. It's, Costco's one of the only places that I can seem to find it. Costco has a lot of really awesome chicken options like whole chickens or the party wings, but we have been on a chicken thigh kick lately. Chris loves the bone-in skin on chicken thighs, and I'm partial to the boneless skinless because then I can 
mix it with lots of different seasonings and sauces. Chicken is our go-to side dish. It helps stretch the budget and then I can eat two meats at the same time uh, and I feel like I'm getting a lot of variety. If you go to the freezer section, it's actually cheaper per pound for the thighs and the wings and stuff. I just love the convenience of these packets. I don't have to do any prep on my own and then one pack at a time, we can just saw them as we need them. Pork is always such a good price at Costco. We go through a lot of these big pork loins and then I always grab the whole pork belly. I will cut the pork belly up into cubes and put it in the air fryer and I have tons of recipes on this channel about pork loin. Next, I swing by the cooler section and I grab some eggs. I just buy the most basic regular eggs and thankfully the prices are coming back down on those. I'm kind of a bad carnivore because we actually don't use that much butter. I mainly use it for cooking eggs. Uh, that's about it, like not a lot. But I had a bunch in the freezer that thawed and so I gave it away uh, and I'm gonna restock us up. These are the best pickles. I love this garlic and herb cheese spread. Whenever it's on sale, I grab the three pack. I will use it to dip carnivore snacks in or pork rinds. We use it as an appetizer. I kind of put some on top of chicken occasionally. These mozzarella balls are perfect for me as a little dessert after a meal. And then I usually bring a handful of them into cooler when I travel. They're super convenient since they come in little three packs. Nobody in our family really drinks much sparkling water, but whenever it's on sale, I tend to grab one just to have on hand for when guests come over. And then sometimes I do put like half a pack of the flavored element in one of these and it's like a little treat or a fake cocktail. I always get asked what kind of shrimp that I get. Uh, I just get the Kirkland brand in the blue bag. It is the raw with the tail on and it's already been deveined and shelled, all that good stuff. Burger patties, I kind of bounce back and forth between the blue package or the red package, but I don't get the grass finished version. We like the sirloin or the chuck ones. Thankfully, bacon prices are coming back down, so I grabbed uh, the four pack of bacon, and then I also grabbed the Kirkland hot dogs. When I'm buying hot dogs, I'm really just trying to avoid any type of filler. So I'm not gonna buy these, but the Hebrew National ones actually contain soy filler. So I'm not worried about like, Every single ingredient, I do the best that I can. What I'm trying to avoid is any type of soy filler. Check my other Costco brand. The Chilean sea bass is a special treat for Chris. Not in my budget for today, but we'll get this around a holiday or it's a splurge for a special occasion. Same thing goes with the crab legs. Definitely not in my weekly grocery budget, but it's really fun for Christmas or when you're trying to do something really special and not have carbs or desserts. A few other things that are staples in our family, just not needed today, is the Teton sausages, the Del Real Carnitas, microwavable, quick weeknight meals. Uh, we always go through these big tubs of sour cream. I actually just bought one, so we're good to go on that. String cheese. And we love the Mexican style shredded cheese blend. It's just so convenient for taco bowls. I know, I should shred my own, but I'm not going to. The Rouse tomato sauce is really good for spaghetti bowls for the kids. That's just ground beef, spaghetti sauce, Parmesan cheese, and then sometimes pepperonis. The canned chicken is perfect for my loaded chicken salad and also some low carb chicken quesadillas for the kids. Uh, pepperonis, I'd like to take a few with me when I'm traveling and Nathaniel microwaves them to make pepperoni chips. We cook a lot with ghee, especially on the outdoor griddle. I don't force my kids to eat vegetables, but they like green beans. And so I usually keep them around in case they ask for them.
Macadamia nuts are also Nathaniel's favorite and my mom's when she comes to visit. Just a friendly reminder that no matter what electrolyte you're using, make sure you check out those carbs and ingredients. This brand, the number one ingredient is cane sugar and number two is dextrose, 11 grams of sugar per serving. And here is the final haul. We have New York strips, strawberries, butter, ground beef, pork belly, eggs, mozzarella cheese, pork loin, pickles, macadamia nuts, shrimp, bacon, hot dogs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs, bone-in chicken thighs, burger patties, borsane cheese, green beans, and some sparkling water. Total price for all of that was $332.39, which is not too bad considering I splurged and got some steak and shrimp and a lot of staples. Uh, some of these things like the butter are gonna last us a really long time and others like the steaks we're gonna eat tomorrow. <laughs> if we ate nothing else but this, it would probably last our family about two weeks. If you want other ideas on grocery hauls at Walmart, Aldi, or even just how to shop on a super tight budget, you can check out my other YouTube videos. Bye guys.